This is code.org, and we are transversing 2D arrays. Now, we have several options here. Daily temperature, dog breed, social media users, best-selling books. Like always, guys, please pick the topic, here they are, that you are interested in. And the reason it won't matter too much is the requirements are going to be very similar. Here's what I mean, right? We're going to do max temperature. We're going to return a string containing the cities. We're going to do find height. We're going to return some value. The tactic at which is going to be underused to solve uh, is used to solve these. It will be similar logically. It's going to be a double, uh, a nested loop, if you will, like we've been doing throughout this. So I'm just going to tackle this first item: daily temperatures. Let's see what we got. A weather analyst wants to find out which city had the highest temperature over several days. They have the following values. Okay, so we got a bunch of doubles where each row represents New York, Los Angeles, Miami, Seattle, respectively. Interesting. Each column represents temperatures on a particular day. Okay. Write a method max temperature to find the highest temperature. Okay. So I'm heading over to temperatures Java and, oh, max. Find the highest temperature. So let's keep in mind we're going to have to loop through all the values like we've been doing throughout this unit. They're giving us some Good, good, good. They're giving us a great example here, and we want to use our resources. Now, let me walk through it. So I need a loop, obviously, for int row. I'm going to start at zero, and row is going to need to be less than what? Well, it's going to need to be less than the length of my entire array. Now, how many index? I'm going to format this how I always do because it's much easier to read for humans. And students are humans, just like me. All right, so here we are. This 2D array is called a 2D array just because of, well, what it sounds like. It's two-dimensional. There is one huge outer array, right? And then inside of our array, there are several other arrays. It's an array of arrays, the 2D array. Now, at index 0 of our outer array, index 0, that would be row 0. This is index 0, and it's row 0. This would be index 1, and it's row 1 or you could say row one, row two, whatever. It, what it is saying though, it's at the entire row of content. Now at column zero, all the numbers here are column one or column zero, call one, call two, call three, call four. Okay. And so this is why we need to loop through all the data. First, we get to the row. Once we get to the row, we then need an inner loop, a nested loop, and loop through each column to print out the value. At row 0, I need column 0, which would be 37, uh, except 37.27. Then column 1. Then at row 0, I need column 2, column 3, column 4. Then I hit the end. Zoop, I need to go up one in call. I need to go up one in a row. So now I need row to be equal to 1. And I would want to continue onward, column one, two, three, four, zoop, back down to row three here, so on and so forth. So that's what we need to have happen. So I have row, row is going to need to be less than what is the, we need the max temperatures. So I'll do city temps then, dot length, and then row plus plus, there. And so right now that will just print out, or that will just access the row. So system.out.println, and I'm just going to show you what I mean. City temps, and I'll go ahead and do zero, or I'll go ahead and do row, and then I'll do column zero. Just to show you what I mean, let's see if this throws an error. Currently, but we're not running it, are we? Oh, no, we are. Oh, I need a parenthesis. There we are. So we're printing out the first value in each column. That means I need another for loop for int column is going to be equal to zero. Column needs to be less than city temps dot length except no and then call plus plus. The reason I say no, I'll show you in a sec, is because right now guys, well, I'm gonna move my print statement. Bam bam. Right now what I am getting here with city temps length is the length of the entire thing. Well, the entire array is a length of is the entire array. I just move stuff over. 
the entire array has a length of four, right? There's four rows. However, how many columns are there? Well, there's five columns, zero, one, two, three, four. So four indexes, but there's five columns. I need to make sure to get the length of each row or at least one of the rows to make sure I loop through each data point in the row. If I were to only get the length of the entire array, that the entire array is four. It has four rows, indexes zero, one, two, and three. So the entire array is four. However, our column, the data in each row, has five different values. Column zero to four, five different values. Which is why I want to make sure when I do this, I need to get to the length of row dot length. So city temps dot row, or I could just do zero since every row is the same length. And now I should be able to print everything out, except I need to replace this with our new value column. Oh, I commented out everything, which is why I didn't do this initially. Good job. Just clean that back up. Whoops, the noises. And there we are. That should be all of it, and it is. Except now we want to highest temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, it's a double, so double highest, I guess. And I'll set that equal to, ooh, this is important. Hmm. I mean, I know they're all greater than zero, so I could do zero. I also, if I know that I'm going to have data in the temps array, I could do is equal to that first data point. But I guess I'll say zero, or I could say something like negative uh, a thousand to make sure that I know if it doesn't give us a good value because obviously that temperature would not exist here on planet Earth. All right, so at least not for the weather. Um, and then highest I'm going to say is going to be equal to highest will be equal to um, let's do an if I could do a max, but if highest is less than uh, city temps row column right so whatever data is at that in that row at that column if the highest temperature is less than that what do i want to do well then i want our highest temperature to be equal to whatever that value is city temps at row column there we are and then instead of returning null i would return highest oh they want a string interesting Oh, oh, that's super interesting. Okay, so we need to return the city that is that. Okay, so then I just need to know the row number. Oh, okay. So I don't need to return that data. I'm going to do row index, and then the row index will be equal to negative one. So it's going to throw in. Oh, nope, I need both of these. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have the highest temperature, but I'm also going to have int row index or in row index of highest is going to be equal to negative one because I want to throw an error if I don't find something. Now, what I need to do now, I need to make sure I know what the highest temperature is, but then I also need to save the row. The reason I'm going to have to save the row is because the only thing they want me to output is the city's name which is in this string. The city name corresponds to the row number. So New York is this row, Los Angeles is this row, so on and so forth. So then I'm gonna say row index is equal to row, and instead of returning that highest number, I'm gonna return uh, city names. And that way I will know that it is the city with the highest temperature. Miami. Correct. Cool. That's super tricky. But guys, keep in mind, we want to iterate through. Uh, we have a nested loop to go through all the va values. And then we want to set or keep track of the highest temperature. Once we know the highest temperature, we make sure to set the index or to record what that current row is. And then at the very end, once we've gone through everything, we know we actually found the highest. So we return the name of the city. Uh, and we know the city's name because we have the row index of the highest. Tricky, tricky. Cool. Onward.